It's the big story tonight at 10 o'clock, a despicable act by a group of lowlifes threatening a defenseless woman. Why are you slapping me? Yeah, and not just that, but these scumbags apparently couldn't even stop laughing at themselves. Now it's up to all of us to figure out who exactly these people are. It happened just near a donut shop on Mac Road and Center Parkway. Yeah, it went viral on YouTube, and it is very hard to watch. Rowena Shaddix, police, they are not calling this a hate crime. Yeah, guys, police are determining if the victim is mentally disabled. That is what they want to find out. If she is, in fact, mentally disabled and was targeted for that reason, that would make this a hate crime. We do want to warn you that this video you're about to see is very disturbing. It's just shocking. I didn't even think nobody would do anything like that. Police say that this brutal battery of a woman in broad daylight happened last Saturday on Mack Road. Police are now looking for the two men who hurt this unidentified woman. They're involved in the shooting of this video, which is now posted on YouTube. That's how police got wind of it. He goes up, pushes her in the face. You know, it's that's kind of the shocking part of the video. It's unprovoked. After some taunting and laughing at the woman, she's attacked once again. He takes a fighting stance and punches her right in the face, knocks her right in the ground. He look, looks like he has no remorse and just walks away. The woman didn't want medical attention and didn't even want to make a big deal of her attack. But now police said with her help and the assault captured on video, they have a better chance of prosecuting the suspects. Especially with this video that's now practically viral. I ain't got nothing to do with it. I mind my business. Locals who hang out in the area said what happened was wrong, but they aren't surprised. They called the area South Sac Iraq. Oh! Cars probably kept going by. Police probably kept going by, not even paying it no mind. Somebody's mother, somebody's grandma, somebody, you know, auntie, you know, hey, you know, but at the end of the day, you know, if you see where we live and you see the environment, then you know, it's a cold world. Now, we did try to contact the person who posted this video. Police investigators are doing the exact same thing. It could possibly lead to a suspect. You know, Roy, I know they're trying their best, the police are, but we see more and more of these videos out there. How reasonable is it? Or how easy for cops to track down the criminals in this? Not as easy as you would think, Steph. They are on the trail trying to figure out who posted this one. They said there's really no way to prevent these types of videos from being posted. But again, if you witness something like this, to contact investigators immediately. And that's how police found out about this incident. Thanks a lot, Roche Shaddix, live in Sacramento. Another look now at the guys the cops are after. If you recognize them, call police and help get justice for that poor woman. The pictures are also on our website, fox40.com, and our Facebook page if you need a closer look. And we've got